So I recently purchased some little bees, and um, since I have to flash them with the latest Bio Heli, I wandered around about how can you do that simple way. So I'm doing just a little intro. This is pretty simple and straightforward stuff. So I'm just gonna show you guys who are a little bit lost in this. How do you flash it with your maze and with your uh, USB thingy? <laughs> so yeah, let's start. So first you need to go and in install Bia Heli Suite. So for that you you're gonna have to download the zip file. Simply hit on the file and hit download. But I'm gonna put the link on the description so you don't have to look around. The I'll put in for the latest Bia Heli. After that. You need to install beta flight or clean flight on your NICE and be sure that the computer recognizes it. After that, you'll unzip the file and you'll have this series of files and then you hit the BioHeli Suite icon and hit run. Basically, BioHeli is now installed and you can proceed to connect your ESCs to the computer. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to mention one thing, but since you're using uh, the nice has your interface, you have to choose uh, what interface you want. So, on top, once it says select Atmel and Scilabs interface, you have to choose the one that says clean flight on last. So, now that you can proceed with the flashing, connect your quad to the computer. You'll hear the, the little beep and you'll select the com uh, you're in. So in this case, it will appear as Silicon Labs uh, Wired Bridge. In this case, mine is six. It doesn't have to be yours. And after that, you'll see that it will recognize this four. And but if you put read setup, it will appear four and it won't uh, connect correctly. That's because you have to have power. So if you want to have power, you have to connect the battery, right? But no, before you do that, uh, in every ESE installation and calibration and video move command, you must remove the props because it can go wrong and it can spin and you don't want to be a fingerless fool in a drone world, you know. So, first of all, remove the props. Now you have your props removed and your fingers can be safe now, you can connect your battery. You hear the them singing and now you can hit reset setup. The 4 ESC is here with the 14.5, the latest BLL installed. And if you want to install it on all, you just click on everyone, you can see that every single one is selected. and your blue one is your master one so everything you do on one it will be passed to the other force so if you want to install it uh, I will not you uh, you'll hit flash bill heli you can see it automatically appears you'll hit OK and then it will ask you if you really want to install it I will not because I already have the 14.5 but you'll hit yes that's basically it. You'll just wait, it will install in each uh, ESC and you'll have uh, the real heli if everyone if everything goes well you'll have is the real heli installed in everyone. But you may ask, does every ESC support the nice installation? Uh, no. You have to have real heli bootloader to to do this. Only real heli bootloaders the ESCs can support this. Uh, I'm gonna install using the USB uh, port and those ESCs or the ZTWs they have Simon K bootloader so the NAS cannot install the you cannot install the BLHL via the NAS. So that's what I'm gonna do next. And also if you wanna test out the motors you can go to motors and see if you didn't do anything wrong. You can t test them all in master. You can see so yeah, you did well and you just 
disconnect it disconnects automatically uh, and you can uh, choose if you want to put the light or whatever this is the end of my video on how to install the BIL with a nice board um, I'm gonna there's another video about this using the USB linker in this in, the, in my case it's a afro USB interface so don't forget to, to see that if you want to use the USB and check out, out my other videos on my drone flight and FPV stuff. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe.